what is up everyone welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna to be telling you guys the top five things that I want to see in Monster Hunter World I've seen a lot of videos talking about this and I'm like you know what maybe I could give my five things like tell you guys my five things that I want to see it's not it's sort of simple you know it's average I know there are some that are a little bit above average but it's okay it's okay but you know without further ado let's get on with the list the first thing I really want to see in Monster Hunter World is underwater exploration why because in the trailer it shows that we're swimming underwater to get to another area or another you know place and all that stuff even though underwater combat will not be returning it'll be kind of cool to have underwater exploration you know see all the fishes and stuff swimming in the clear crisp water because we all seen in the trailer the water is clear as day and you're mining for freaking ores or searching through a bunch of fucking bones and stuff just imagine the graphics that it will have underwater just imagine how it would look underwater with tons of fish swimming corals and all that stuff just 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 imagine it just for one second please okay you probably didn't you probably did it doesn't matter but it'll be it'll be cool like they had it in three ultimate why can't they just bring it back in this one just keep the underwater comeback away okay <laughs> just keep it away the second thing that I really that I really love to see is a brand new weapon. Yes, of course, the 14 weapons are going to be in this, but I kind of want them to introduce a brand new weapon. To for an example, I kind of want to see them introduce the Tonfas from the Frontier series to to Monster Hunter World. In Frontier, there was a lot of fluidity on the Tonfas on uh, in Frontier. In Frontier, I seen a lot of fucking videos, well, gameplay videos on the Tonfas of fighting like Gasur Basura or or the um, Sand Turtle that's related to uh, Kanto and Yukonalos. And I seen like it's fucking fast as hell, not as fast as the Dual Blades supposedly, but yeah, it's pretty fast. And imagine. That in Monster Hunter World, even though each weapon in World is being enhanced, just imagine that same mechanics from Frontier being in World but being enhanced as well. Just imagine that. Just having like Katanfas actually going in up close to personal, punching the crap out of a monster like you could do in Tolkien with the boxing gloves and stuff. That would be really fucking cool. That would be cool. But. It's just, you know, it's just the thing that I want to see. We don't know. We don't know. The third thing that I really want to see is more flexible farming. We're on, like, the, customi the customization when it comes to the farm. I, the best customization, in my opinion, is Portable 3rd because there is, like, a lot of var varieties and all that stuff um, that you could do with the farm. You could have a place to train your cats or... Or like fishing, um, f like planting, mining, getting honey, an area for bugs. And there's a little area in Portable 3rd at the farm where you can actually make your felines or palicos go on a quest and come right back and bring stuff for you. So like that's what I really want to see, a more flexible stuff when it comes to the customization of the farm. And that's about it. It's not really that big, but it's very big for me because I do like I do use the farm a lot when I don't want to go out and farm for a certain air for a certain item, not area for a certain item that that was pretty hard to get the first time. And the fourth thing is I want to see at least a monster from Frontier series or from Monster Hunter Online in Monster Hunter Worlds. I, to be honest, I prefer Monster Hunter Online because the graphics on, on Online is pretty damn good. But Worlds like beat Online when it comes to graphics. And the monster that I really like to see to make it to World is the Beaver. The Beaver. And that's that's about it. Or maybe from Frontier, we could probably get the Gasur Basura, but that'll probably would be way too hard. But like that's something that I want to see. A monster from either 
the Frontier franchise or from Monster Hunter Online. And that's a that's about it. The last thing, the utmost last thing is that um elements. Elements. We all know that there's ice, lightning, paralysis, poison, sleep, slime, dragon, water, and all, all that stuff. But we saw in the you know gameplay demo we we seen the Rathalos, the Rathalos um longsword, and it was you know spewing out the fire. The more it hits, but would we be able to like set flame on a monster if we have a fire weapon, or to actually freeze the monster in place if we have a ice weapon and all that stuff? That that would be cool. That would be really, really cool. But to be honest, I don't know. I think that would be overpowered because you're doing damage per second while you're actually doing even more damage by hitting it. And then when you're not doing damage, the fire damage it, but little by little. And with ice, and if you can freeze it in place, then what's the point of using shock traps? But that's just me. That's just me. Well, guys, that is the list. Those are the five things that I really want to see. If you guys agree, please comment down below or like. You know, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the content. I'll be I'll be doing more content on Monster Hunter World very soon. I know on the twentieth we'll be we're gonna have what more stuff on it. They're gonna stream it for Japan, I guess. But you know, I'll definitely be on that. And as always, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.